Hi, I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about creative thinking and how it can help you get over creative blocks. Things like the blank page if you're a writer like me. So most of the time we spend our lives thinking convergently, which is the kind of thinking you use when you're driving a car. You're shown how to do it correctly and you can continue to do it that way after you've practiced it and reached a standard. And that's a good way to think because if you started to think creatively about your driving and you decided that you would drive on the wrong side of the road, going in the wrong direction, with your head hanging out the window, or backwards, it probably wouldn't be, you know, considerate of other people and could end up, you know, in the worst of situations. So that's kind of a really sort of simplistic description of convergent thinking. It's the kind of thinking we use when we want to get the right answer. It's the kind of thinking our brain likes because it's comforting. We know that it's worked before. But creatively, it can be unhelpful because it can stop you thinking outside of the box and it can create those creative blocks such as the blank page or not being able to tolerate that sense of ambiguity about a project that you're undertaking. So what I'd like to talk about today is a thing called divergent thinking, which is something I came across when I was in college recently. And it's the first time I've heard of it. And it is essentially creative thinking. It's about not going with your first idea or going beyond your first idea, or more importantly, coming up with new ideas rather than waiting for inspiration to strike or the muse to arrive. So today we're going to try a little creative thinking, divergent thinking challenge that I hope you can start thinking about bringing into your practice. Today we're going to look at ways to generate, produce and consider many alternatives. That is what's known as divergent thinking or, if you prefer, creative thinking. This skill is about going past your first idea or going in search of ideas if you are struggling to come up with any. There are four guidelines to divergent thinking that I will go through with you today using a simple creative game. Grab a few sheets of paper and pen. Next you will need to draw nine different shapes. Don't worry, I'm going to do it with you. You have one minute. Get going. Great. So now you have nine shapes. So the first guideline we're going to look at is to delay judgment and keep open to new ideas. Keeping this principle in mind and give yourself one minute to draw as many pictures as you can using the shapes you created. Ready, go. Now, pause the video and take a picture of what you've drawn. The second guideline we're going to look at is seeking quantity. Research has shown that quantity breeds quality. So I want you to keep drawing for another minute until you complete all of your shapes. Or if you've done that, just draw more shapes and use more paper if you run out of space. Remember, the first guideline is to delay judgment and keep open. So get drawing, you have one minute.
ways. Now, take a picture and we'll move on to the third guideline. So remember the first and the second was delay judgment and remain open. The second was to seek quantity. And the third guideline is to seek wild and unusual ideas. Make the picture you created wilder and more unusual. Create shapes and pictures, whatever you want, there's no right or wrong. Just remember the three guidelines. Delay judgment, seek quantity, and seek wild and unusual ideas. You've got a minute, so get going. take another picture of your latest attempt. <laughs> Finally, the last guideline is to build upon other ideas. So the first is to delay judgment, seek quantity, seek wild and unusual ideas. And the last principle of creative thinking or diversion thinking is to build upon those ideas. This time, continue to drawing, but build on the ideas that you've already created and create one picture that's unified or two pictures or three pictures. Just keep going. You can draw new shapes if you want, but you don't have to. Just build on the ideas you already have and you have two minutes this time. So how was that? Did you, anything surprise you about it? Did you surprise yourself? Take a final picture of your drawing. Producing and considering many alternatives is an essential skill for creativity. Research and studies have shown the most important aspect of divergent creative thinking is simply practice, allowing you to produce and consider many 